Hey everyone, welcome to the That's Allowed podcast. I'm here today with Alex. Please introduce yourself, Alex. Oh, hi everyone. Yes, you said I'm Alex. That's shorter than Alexandra. Yeah, I come from, yeah, it's, it's much easier to, to say it, you know, <laughs> because it's interesting, you know, when you're talking with people from all over the world, you know, how they say your name. Absolutely. Sometimes you, it's a, for me, sometimes I'm Alexandra. It's just like, whoa, it freezes me, <laughs> you know, in my country, I'm Alexandra, you know, so it's much more easier to say just Alex. So yeah, I come from Slovenia. Uh, actually, what to say about me? I'm a mom. I'm a woman. I'm a coach. I'm a writer. So yeah, I love I love writing. You know, it's actually writing for kids, also writing for adults. I love stories about life, stories that touch you, you know, that move you, that give you and open you a meaning of life. And I've always loved, you know, from ages when people were just sitting together talking you know sharing their life experiences you know it was just for me always who i had the years like opened widely because i always and i always felt that there, there is some kind of different energy and yes i'm an energy lover <laughs> i really was in one period of my life totally focused to know everything about energy and frequency and life laws mm. and wisdom and everything and i was ooh, really totally uh, into all of that knowledge and then i it was just how to pass this knowledge to kids you know yeah. why should i be waiting you know it was that changing point one of my changing points in life when my son told me uh, he was four years old and he said mom i have someone i have a voice someone inside of me was telling me that I'm not a good boy, you know, it just was, oh, I was then, oh my God, <laughs> you know, why should I wait for 15 years, let's say mm -hmm. something like that, to talk about ego, consciousness, you know, energy, inner world voices, it, it, it's, it's happening here, you know, now, Absolutely. yeah, and let's go and, and find the solution, and yeah, this was my <laughs> quest, you know, finding how to talk to a child how to explain him how to teach a child about consciousness you know living consciousness life because they have consciousness you know and how to explain them and yeah and it was lovely to to go into that knowledge and then to find the solution also yeah okay that's wonderful i love that <laughs> i mean i have the same thoughts around my daughter she's nine years old She's actually been on this podcast a couple of times and she has these amazing, really? yeah, she has these amazing insights. You know, yeah. she says things that just blow my mind. And so I'd love to hear more about what you do to help children come into their consciousness. Uh, as I told you, it everything began, yeah, it begins when we are born, okay? But yeah. still, you know, we have these, all these, our life experiences when, you know, you're going through everything, what you have to go to, to find the way to yourself, to find the way to unconsciousness, love and everything, to realize yourself, okay? Yeah. And, you know, it's the same with children. And uh, for me, it was like that, that I would, I've been for ages, you know, very sensible for everything. I could see, sense the world different than other kids. My mom didn't know how to, to raise me up. I know I was not the girl as she wished, you know, she would have. And she just didn't know how to deal with me. And because I was hyperactive, I have the, all the craziest ideas I could have, you know. <laughs> Uh, as a girl, you know, and uh, I was always told that uh, I'm like a devil. That's like an expression in my country. You know, it's just, ah, you're like a devil with all that, um, those feelings, those emotions, that energy. Okay. That yeah. was actually inside of us. And I, I know that we all have these feelings as parents and it's normal. Okay. We just have to realize what it is. But for me, it was like that, that I was really, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's, when we are children, we don't have, I say it like, we don't have that antivirus, you know, we are just observing, observing, observing in this, everything is just loading inside of us, loading inside of us. But here and there, we did in our childhood 
some kind of conclusion about who we are, how life works, uh, what is good, what is not. Um, and you know, the voices and ego is, uh, uh, you know, born out of that and everything. And for me, it was like that, that everyone was telling me, you know, I, I, knew, I heard from everyone, you know, that I'm like a devil with that expression. And uh, when, when I had the experience with, with the religion and everything, you know, it's just not that I'm blaming that part, it was my experience and see the stuff today totally differently. But in that point, you know, me being seven years old, you know, saying a priest, this is a devil, this is the worstest thing can be, that can be on earth. I realized at that moment that, oh, that's me. Everyone is talking to me that I'm that. So I did that realization that this yeah. is me. I'm the worstest. And you know, from that, be, and then, then you start to vibrate this, you know, because yes. the, conclusion, the conclusions that we have, you know, it's just, this is the way that we are programming ourselves. You know, we are, the emotions are attached to that. The thoughts are attached to that. You know, the laws of universe, attraction and blah, 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 and other laws are, you know, uh, 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 are uh, realizing, are actually functioning, okay? Based on our inner world. Yes. So it's so important how we talk to children it's so important from to, uh, to to realize from what kind of our inner position i call it we come to a child it's the same as in, in a relationship and this was you know the quest and everything with me and then becoming a mom it was a total shift for me and that moment when my my son told me you know about those voices and I just, I just was at that point in, in one very good period, uh, finding a master, starting to learn the stuff about life and wisdom. And uh, it was actually the lowest point in my life. You know, I didn't have anything. So it was really you know, interesting. But from that, you just raise up then. And I was just so anxious to find the solution that I could talk to my child differently because i you you 100 percent you know this you know sometimes you talk to a child and you say you're so beautiful you're okay you know it's okay to give them positive affirmations and blah 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 and all the stuff that we read you know online but you just feel that it doesn't go in mm. it's just ah uh, uh, here's the block here's the ego here are the blocks it's just yeah. you know doesn't go in you know, and but when it goes in, you also know this moment, it just flows. It's just, yeah. and these are the moments that we feel connected. Yeah, okay, there are no blocks. So I was just trying, you know, digging, 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 what, what to do, how to explain him, you know, but when I said, you know, this is not okay, what you do, you are okay as a child, but this, what you do, it's not okay. Because I could see, you know, on the faces, I could feel with the energy, we know that that inside is happening something, but not the, th the, the things that are happening are not those that we would like to be, that the child has their thoughts. I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm a good guy, I'm, a, I'm okay, girl, you know, those. It's a different thoughts. I'm not okay. Yeah. I'm bad or doesn't care. What else. So, uh, and yeah, and, and, and it was just, you know, it happened, you know, the idea came when you are searching, you know, the idea finds you. And I wrote a story about the badger. Uh, and in that story, and after the story, badger becomes a metaphor for a child. It's like a puppet, a doll or something. Mm -hmm. Here's just the word metaphor. And the child knows from the story what is happening with the badger because he's angry and then other animals become angry and blah, blah, blah. And, and the, uh, the badger becomes a metaphor for inner voices, for ego. Mm. And we've created, the two of us with our son, I also wrote a book about it and everything and published it. And I have these programs also for, for preparing now for international level for parents. It's just so universal. You can use this. For, it doesn't. It's not just for kids. For adults also. It's just five pillars. You know, everyone has a badger. Also, me and you. Yeah. And you know, when that anger comes with a child, or I don't know, I'm not good enough. You know, nobody likes me. Okay, mm -hmm. everyone. It's just first thing. I know where you are. 
you know it's just coming back to consciousness from that program of everyone has a badger me and you everyone you know badger the second pillar badger is always telling you that you're not good enough always so this is not true and then comes that part that we as parents would like you know children to give this is not true i know who you are this is the power that children need power of faith power of someone to yeah. believe in you you know mm -hmm. now now you can feel it now we are here at the right moment of consciousness parenting okay okay i got it now you have to help a child divide this is the things that you are telling me now and what you are feeling and the voices that you are telling you not good enough this is not true i know who you are I know that you are loved. I know that you are beautiful. I know, but when you are in that bottle that is happening inside you, when you grab your power, when you grab that positive energy, this is the thing that children need, you know, and then actually they are on an energetic level, they are copying your inner strength worth, which they need for life. Hmm. Was the second badger, the third badger. <laughs> you will love this one, <laughs> one hundred percent. The third one is okay. My badger is calling out your badger. So mm -hmm. okay, you know this from the relationship oh, yeah. with the child. Yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you give me chills. Just, you give me chills. Yes, 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 <laughs> yes. It's just. But we come to the third, fourth pillar. Everyone feeds its own badger. Mm -hmm. so take the responsibility of your life you know you just have to take the responsibility of your thoughts of your emotion of your energy of your inner world that's it you know everyone feeds with you their minds their own inner world ego everything you do, do, do you, no one it's, it's not the government playing it's not that and that and that but it's just you really facing yourself and it's just yeah it's not, you know, that one is annoying me. No, it's just his badger, his programs, his reaction. I show you something. It's just, and these two badgers, you know, these two pillars are the hardest one, the hardest one to deal with. And then you have the fifth pillar. It's just that badgers don't like to be found. No one likes, okay. And they don't like to be, they don't like positive stuff, you know, funny stuff. So every time, you have a situation every time. You just have to remember these things that it's normal. Everyone has a badge. That's a path of life, you know? Mm -hmm. Okay, I have to take the responsibility. And in the moment, you know, when, I don't know, a child is, child is in the face, I don't know, or stubbornness, or, you know, that teenage stuff that is changing, it's just, okay, yeah. This, this, and this is just, what are you going to do? I know who you are. This is this. Don't listen to these voices. You know, put them away. Don't, you know, push them inside. Yeah. It's like, no, this is not working. You are feeding again. It's just yeah. then. And, and, and it's, you know, you know, what's funny when you, uh, um, when you share this story with the child about this badger in the next hour or two, when you are going to feel nervous or angry, a child will come to you and it will say, he or she will say, oh, mom, you have a badger. Uh-huh. And There's you cannot fake it. You cannot fake it. You have to be a consciousness parent. You know, you have to deal with stuff. They are learning at that point. At that point, you have, you know, your, <laughs> you being a mom, you have to deal with it. You, you cannot hide it because it's true. And it's just you with your actions and everything what you do, are actually showing you know your child okay here it is yeah okay if you know it doesn't like this badge doesn't it's not it's not happy that you saw him or you know it's just you 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 come to with the play you know and you are telling and showing your child how to deal you know how to react yeah. to the, the badgers how to deal with them you know it's just when it's anger it's just <sighs> Just a second, leave me alone. I have to find my pillow. Right. You're actually showing your child what to do. Mm -hmm. The easiest part it is, you know, to yell at someone and blah, blah. And it doesn't mean, you know, that I'm perfect, that I don't do that. Yeah, but you sure. then start to train. Mm -hmm. You then start to train your consciousness muscle. Yeah, I, love, the, <laughs> I, I, I love the idea that 
hiding the badger is feeding the badger. You know, that you're protecting the badger by hiding him because he doesn't like to be found. He doesn't like to be seen. It upsets him. (laughs) Yes. (laughs) Yeah, that's brilliant. I love that so much. So what's the name of your book and where can we find it? Oh, not in English yet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so the bummer. Now I want to read it later. I want yeah, to read it okay. with my daughter. Uh, I, with my daughter. I, think, I think next year. Okay. Great. This book is coming and the program and everything. Um, uh, but this year is coming as some other book and uh, one other book. And I think your daughter will also love it. It's, it's a story based on a true event that happened in my son's kindergarten it's about a girl uh, on a wheelchair who wished for Christmas that she would be able to walk and this happened a few years ago and that touched me so much you know and I wrote a story and I published it when I found out that in my country uh, I always when I publish a book I'm always trying to find a deeper meaning Mm -hmm. uh, and to what I could give back to the society with every book of course so with this book about this girl in a wheelchair, I was trying to find, you know, what I could do, how could I serve, how could I help? And then I saw once on the internet uh, a picture of a girl on in a wheelchair on a swing. So mm-hmm. swinging together with wheelchair. And I realized that in public playgrounds in Slovenia, in the country where I come from, there are no such swings. Right. And I wrote to our president and human rights ombudsman that I would like, I would ask them for moral support, that I would like to publish the book uh, and from the book sellings to be able to place first swing. And we were able to place 10 swings and the book was so accepted. And yes, I've translated it now in uh, Spanish, English, Slovenia. We are preparing French Croatian and German version mm. audiobooks with this also, because I would like uh, uh, the book to be different to also have an audio version yeah. so yeah in a month or two <laughs> okay in the end of this year yeah the book is going to be to be able to get you know on internet amazon and so on yeah i'll be informing you and it, it's wonderful. really it's really touching 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 story because the story goes like this that the santa comes to the girl and he explain he he tells her that he cannot fulfill her wish because it's so different you know she's not the one who's asking for toys or anything else computers uh, you know she's just asking i would like to walk and do all the stuff that other kids do there's some magic but still you know it's that it's so emotional and yeah. uh, and in the end in the end of the story you have that great opportunity so that you can start to teach and guide your child in a way that they can realize what non-material values are. Because you can ask them, you know, it's just, what are those things that you wish also, but they cannot be bought in stores. Right. And then you have that magic of Christmas, really, what we are all wanting so much. Yeah. And how to create those things in your life, Mm -hmm. what that magic is and and how you can create that magic for yourself. That's beautiful. Yes. Yes. I love that. Yes, I totally agree. So we've kind of covered this, but who do you think needs to hear this story? Every mom knows about this story, you know, every mom and every child knows to is the one, you know, who needs to hear it because it it's just a story that opens your heart you know it's just a story that opens your heart and we need this especially children you know they're so focused with all the material stuff and it's not it's not that it's not good that it's okay you know we as parents we have to deal that it's okay that they want a lot of stuff and blah blah you know it's okay It's not that we have to give them, that's another part, but it's okay to wish things. And this is also one message that I would like to to give to parents during the Christmas. Have wishes, have thousands of wishes. They are the, the, they are the also one method that can help your child, you know, create a beautiful vision board and all the the stuff that we need for math. 
manifesting, mm-hmm. you know, have a lot of wishes. Don't limit the child. Just put you have you can have just three wishes. No, have them one hundred in a day because it's just you know the creativity inside the things that you will then bought as a Santa, okay, when you're willing to be a Santa, this is something different, you know, you have the ability that you can choose what are your ability and where you can stretch yourself and blah, blah. And it's not about the gifts. It's always about uh, 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 what we are teaching a child. Santa is not the one who is teaching children how to be grateful. It's not. We usually mix up these things. We yeah. are the ones, you know, Santa is not Santa. It's just a guy you know, who is just, whoa, you know, with all the stuff. And it's just in child's eyes, it's just bringing present. It's not teaching how to be grateful. This is our role. And yeah, everyone, if you ask me, everyone on this earth needs to hear about this story, 100%. So I'm hearing so many beautiful core messages in here. Can you articulate those a little bit more? What do you think are the main messages and takeaways for uh, parents who might be listening, but also just everyone who's listening to this? What do you, what do you want them to walk away with? Um, life is happening around us. We have to listen to it. If we want to have good connections, if you have to want to have a beautiful life, and if we want to give good values to children and to ourselves, we have to open our hearts. It's just that is where unconditional love, you know, is, uh, is you know, flowing and giving us beautiful, beautiful life. And also, um, when you hear the story like this or a story different than it is in your, your, your life, because we hear a lot of good stories, it's just listen to them and talk with your children about those stories because it's the same on the, the energy level. It's just the, our hearts are opening and then we feel this connection because this is what we need to, to give to our see, children, the seeds of this connection on the other side because it's so much social media and everything, you know? So we need yeah. that connection. And it's just that life is a path. You know, it's a path of discovering yourself. It's a path for a child also to discover uh, themselves. Just be a mentor to them, be a guide, be a coach to them. Uh, And just, it's like, you know, having a flower. Just help that flower to bloom, you know, as beautiful as it can. Do you tell your own story to your child? How do you mean my, my own story? I didn't get you quite. Yeah. So I've noticed that a lot of people don't tell their children sort of the full story, the full, their, their own journey of how they came to be mm-hmm. where they are now. Oh, yes. I wonder well, how much you share. Everything. Yeah. Everything. But I always leave the point of view that Someone who was including in my story, especially around the divorce and everything, mm-hmm. has its own point of view. And that's okay. Yeah. That's okay. Because we can, we, we, uh, we have our own inner walls, you mm-hmm. know, a child, you know, especially my son has its own story regarding to the divorce. And it's okay for that, yeah. you know, it's just leaving that space. And yes, I think that when we are talking with children about our life and our experience it's just we have to watch out we are the adults we have to watch out and really take care of our inner world that we are not telling the stories from anger from envy because this can happen okay uh, it's not a, on an energetic level in the in the eyes of life it's not okay yeah Uh, we can do better we can do better and that's why we have the experience to do it better but children need this you know it's just they like to talk when we tell the stories about their life they Mm -hmm. also like to listen about the stories that we have they cannot uh they cannot feel it and experience it as we have but they are having that 
their own thoughts and and you know films and cartoons in their mind and trying to connect their experiences and everything but it just stays in on the consciousness level in some code differently you know because life is happening the energy of love is happening at that point that's why it's so important that we are present you know when we talk to them and we just are who we are and to say yeah we did this and this i see now that oh this was not okay but at that point that one was dragging me you know the badgers can help you so much because i always say to my son you know i see now when i look back i was in a badger i was scared about that i was scared about that i didn't know about that that's why i did this and this mm. the consequences were this and this i could do it differently but i could not why because i didn't have knowledge i didn't have the knowledge that i have now i didn't have the support i was looking but that's why i'm passing you on these things that you can do it differently i'm yeah. here it's just with it i think it's very important to have in a relationship also and with children and also with yourself that that honesty you yeah. know it's just that when we know that it's okay to say the things that we feel to say the things that we did and the things that they will be accepted not judged and that helps you know <laughs> that helps them <laughs> absolutely all right, I would love to move on to this new exercise <laughs> that Let's I have just created. Okay, so I want you to close your eyes for a moment. Okay. I have now granted all your wishes, and I know you have a lot of them because you're a manifester. <laughs> so they have all come true. So I want you to just take a moment and look around your life, look around your space, and tell me what your amazing, wonderful life is like right now. I know exactly where I am at that yes. beach, sitting on my porch, you know, that is just that, that the right, it doesn't matter, it maybe it's sunset, it's not, the really sun is raising up, you know, it's just that pure light or, and the calm sea is there and the calm, calmness inside of me. I know that I am writing a new book, you know, I'm, you know, I have gray hair at that point. And I know that someone, you know, it's just the, the, the children and the friends, you know, who are visiting me in my resort, okay, yeah. are slowly waking up and you can, you can smell it's going to be a great breakfast mm. <laughs> <laughs> and yes you know okay i'll know that my agent will just beat me out with all the lectures and blah 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 the stuff that i need to do and where around the, around the world i have to go and lecture about the stuff or on media okay on social media it's just but that calmness i have to get to there. That you get to do. Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. It's just that calm that calmness, you know, every cell is just absorbing, absorbing that calmness because it's then, you know, something that you hold on to the whole day. And yeah. it goes like this. <laughs> That's beautiful. I love all the vividness of that, the smell of the breakfast, the yeah. feel of the air, the light. Oh, all of that is so wonderful i love that mm -hmm. so now i want you to remember how you got here what was the path that took you to this beautiful perfect life that you now have so you want me to share with you my path yeah so the the routines the the mm -hmm. the choices what are the main points that led you to this amazing space that you're in right now? Uh, 100% <laughs> trying and training and, and keeping my good mood, being positive, happy, uh, just taking care all the time about my inner world, mm. being honest, honest with all the stuff, that time doing it's just with me it's always about just in the work <laughs> yeah and then well, being, the, the bra outer being world, brave being brave yeah the we know the outer world is just a reflection of our inner world right and so that yes. makes perfect sense that you would have a perfect reflection once you've kind of gotten rid of everything that is not just you 
right? Yeah. Yeah. To, you know, it's just to have that focus to, to really, really get there, but um, to grow, you know, because you cannot come to that. I know that to be able to manifest all of this, I have to change. And I have in every day, one million opportunities from the moment when I woke up, you know, to the moment <laughs> when I go to sleep. Yeah. I have so many things when I can upload myself into a better version, you know, not up uploading myself in the same old version. It's just every moment, if this is something that's so strong with me, it's just everything is a test, everything is a test everything is a test i'm going to grab this inside of me or this new version old version it's just with everything and to to be moving from point to point um i've realized that you have to not wait and ask for courage that's also mm -hmm. but i have to make the decisions and go and do the courage you know uh, uh, uh courageous steps and then the life gives you back it's just every day you know being focused, staying on, and really keeping up on the uh, ecological energy, good stuff. Okay, you know, yeah. so it's really to 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 maintain uh, the high frequency as I can in every moment, no matter what kind of the the, the surroundings, the stuff outside of me are. That's just a test. It's just that pressure, understanding the pressure, because the pressure is just, you know, taking you, it's like a birth to the next yes. level, to your new self. So I think this, this is the most important thing that I welcome that, you know, because <laughs> I wouldn't have that thoughts about, you know, my, my, my future self, if that was not the truth, <laughs> you know, yeah. it's just something that is written and it's going to be. And, you know, also, to trust life, you know, when you're going to, when you're going out of your programs, you know, when something new is just feels sometimes, you know, it's just, oh, it's not new, it's an out of comfort zone. And you just have to grab that trust and faith into the higher source, life, energy, energy beings, whatever, uh, whatever suits you, it's just the faith. It's, and yeah. then you just, for me, it's just being brave, just being brave in every day yeah you have then you know morning meditations blah 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 exercise good food that's just common stuff that comes sure. with it but it's just being brave being brave to be happy being brave to be positive it's just being brave to training yourself every moment rea the reaction is going to be positive not negative that's that means just constant training constant training for me yeah, yeah. so just and to I'm reflect just back to go, to keep doing that yeah, just to reflect back some of the beautiful things that we just heard. It sounds like how you got to this amazing place is that you were really brave. And in every opportunity that came up to do the work, do the inner work, and become more and more of the person that you want to be, you just chose to do the hard thing <laughs> and, and, and just become more and more of, of who you are. And that's yes. what brought you here. And it sounds yes. like some surrendering, surrendering of the outcome and just letting those moments come and be as they will be. Yes. Yeah. That's beautiful. So if we were working together, what I would then do and what I encourage you to now do okay. is create, uh, some, find some images that make you, uh, that are reminiscent of that space that you created in your mind. Uh, and then find some music because for me, that's kind of the secret sauce or sound, you know, that puts you into that space. Sometimes it's the waves, sometimes it's people talking, but sometimes it's music to just put you in that emotional place of that. And you can create little slideshows. Uh, Animoto is a good one. And that's what I use. And just take some time every day to, to look at that and listen to that and remember that story of how you're going to get where you're going. 100 percent. i have this <laughs> excellent like you were, i'm not it's surprised like you were, <laughs> i'm not like surprised you were, okay where is to my computer yeah. <laughs> it's a secret <laughs> corners in my life <laughs> i love it 
I absolutely <laughs> Me <love> too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've come to the point where I'm going to ask you if there's anything else that you think the audience needs to know before we wrap up. I think we could talk about that for ages. I know, right? <laughs> there's always life. something more. But the things are really simple. You know, we are not alone here. Mm -hmm. uh, we have guidance. We have such a strong abilities we just don't we are really not aware of them you know really not aware mm -hmm. and just imagine my thought would be you know to just imagine how life would be if you didn't have the word war hate anger it's not that we were not feeling that but that you are not putting the attention on that focus on that it's just something that you would just how would your life look like if you could be raised like that without those words yes with knowing that it's existing but with not using them uh other negative stuff and what kind of society we could create mm. and the second part is just go and really search and try to discover on your own path what love is what really love is it's so simple and then go and practice that every moment in every situation with a child with a partner with a business in traffic with animals in nature go to train that and practice that and you will find how life can change. I love that. I love that. <laughs> I've always said love is an active verb. It's something that you do. And so I love that idea of, you know, find out what love is to you and then do it. Do love mm -hmm. every day. <laughs> mm -hmm. Because it has a lot of different expressions. Yeah. And sometimes we just don't, realize that let's say for example kindness being kind practice mm -hmm. being kind for two weeks just that you will have a lot of work just that kind so in we are not saying it's lo unconditional love that's unconditional kindness it's not focused just on this moment here when we talk and share stuff it's just when we switch you know leave and and then we are with our child and i don't know it's a messy stuff in the bathroom or something are you going to be kind with what kind of reactions you know are you going to choose so practice kind or i don't know with partner with expectations in traffic practice kind in store practice kind and then you will see how, how what's the inner work actually like but yeah. when you train it it's, it's great mm -hmm. it's wonderful all right <laughs> where can everyone find you well that's a good question <laughs> <laughs> because at this point i don't have a web page yet okay <laughs> Uh, you can find me uh, on Facebook and Instagram. Instagram is Alex with double X and double those. What do we call they call in English? Those like under, under, underscore, double underscore. Yeah, two of okay. them. Yes, uh -huh. pin. So pin Alex pin. Yes, and Alexandra Pintrick is on Facebook. But if you'll type it from November on, uh, Hannah's Christmas wish. That's the story you'll find me, you know, or, or next year, Badger, you know, Excellent. a story about Badger, you'll find me. So it's not going to be hard. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm definitely going to have my daughter listen to this podcast. I really want to <laughs> okay. hear, the, hear the five, five ways to uh, learn about your Badger. I love that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's lovely. Thanks. Share me then, you know, I will. after she, <laughs> you please. So I'll do a reaction video, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> perfect I love it. all right well thank you so much for joining me here today oh, it was it was really full of love it was really full of good energy and I, yes i enjoyed it really good good that's what i'm here for <laughs> <laughs> thank you